What's up golf fans and today we're going to be having a look at the Swing Caddy SC300 Personal Launch Monitor. In this video we're going to be looking at our first impressions of the device, key features, pros and cons, other devices we're considering and whether we recommend buying it or not. As always thanks for watching our video and if you like the content don't forget to subscribe. First impressions of the SC300 and it's the latest in a line of successful devices from Swing Caddy including the SC200 and the 100. The device has made some nice improvements in terms of features and design. It's now a horizontal design as opposed to a vertical design in the SC200. It looks similar to a mini tablet and we couldn't wait to get it out on the driving range to give it a test drive. Key features of the SC300 and it's a key player in the growing $500 personal launch monitor market. It's got a more compact design than the SE200 at 8 by 6 by 4 inches and it still sits 5 yards directly behind you as you swing and it measures your club speed, ball speed, smash factor and now it includes launch angle and apex. It calls your shot metrics out loud after each shot so you don't need to pick up the device to check and it's also much faster than the SC200. You've got three game modes, so practice mode allows you to free play and it'll just call out the distance of your shot. You can set a target distance and see how close you get to that distance each time. And then random will select a random distance each time and you select the correct club and try to hit it that distance. It hooks up with the free mobile app, which is also new, and that builds up your data with each club over time and it shows how much you're improving or where your game is going wrong. It's got very good accuracy, not as accurate as the Trackman, that costs 20,000, but it gets the job done to within five to 10 yards. And it now includes a lithium battery that's chargeable through a USB port. Pros and cons of the SC300, and it's a highly accurate device within five to 10 yards that calls your metrics out loud. The mobile phone app is a huge step up, allows you to track your data with each club over time. It can be controlled through the remote control and random mode makes the driving range a lot more fun. Cons is expensive at $500. It's hard to read the screen in the sunlight and it loses Bluetooth connection sometimes between the phone and the device. Other devices that we would consider and we're big fans of the Garmin G80. It combines a launch monitor with a GPS device. The launch monitor is slightly less accurate but the GPS device is top of the range. It measures club speed, ball speed, carry distance and smash factor and it's expensive at $500. The Flightscope Mevo is another competitor in the $500 range of the personal launch monitor market. It's just slightly more accurate than the SC300 and it gives you a few more details about the spin of the ball. It also calls out the shot metrics but it relies heavily on the phone app and you can't use it really without the phone app and it gives slightly more spin readings as we said. Do we recommend buying the SC300 and if you're looking for a top of the range personal launch monitor that's highly accurate in the $500 range the SC300 is an excellent device. It's about the most accurate launch monitor we've seen and it's a toss up for us between recommending this Flightscope Mevo and the SC300. If you have had your eye on the SC300, there's no reason not to buy it. It's a fantastic device. If you're just looking for a basic launch monitor that's accurate, the SC200 is also very good, but it's $150 cheaper. If you're looking for a GPS device as well, uh, the Garmin G80 offers a bit less accuracy but the inclusion of the GPS device makes it a bit better value for us. If top accuracy isn't as important to you, we would go for the G80, especially if you could use the GPS device as well on the course. As always, thanks for watching our video, and if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe.